Hello, and welcome to JD Advising's California Bar Exam Essay Guide. The goal of this guide is to help you find an effective and efficient approach to the California Bar Exam Essays right from the very beginning. This guide will help you feel confident on test day so that you can conquer the essay portion of the California Bar Exam. If you have any questions about this or other resources we offer for the California Bar Exam, please don't hesitate to contact us. Some of our other resources include a California Bar Exam prep course, private tutoring, essay feedback, and one sheets. If you reach out to us, we'd be happy to speak with you about the resources that can best help you prepare for the California Bar Exam. We hope you enjoy this guide and good luck on the exam. Community property is only tested on the essay portion of the California Bar Exam. You will not see anything from this topic come up on the multiple choice portion. When this subject is tested on the essays, you will always be instructed to apply California law to the facts. There are no distinctions here though, because you are only learning California law in this subject. So let's talk about California's community property laws and how this subject is frequently tested on the exam. First, understand how community property is tested. The fact patterns testing community property typically involve a husband and wife with H and W names, so Herb and Wanda, Henry and Wilma, and they might be getting divorced or maybe one of them dies, and the question is what property each person is entitled to. The call of the question is usually specific, identifying certain assets, and your job is to discuss what should happen to each identified asset. Community property is usually tested on its own and not as a crossover question, but we have seen it crossed over with wills and or trusts a couple times, and once it was crossed over with professional responsibility. The next tip for community property is to know how to introduce the topics correctly. There is a standard introduction that you should use at the beginning of a community property essay to maximize your points. First, state that California is a community property state. Next, you should define some key terms from community property law. Start with community property. All property acquired or earned during a marriage is considered community property. Next, define separate property. Property acquired before the marriage or by gift, devise, or bequest is presumed separate property. And then, if it is relevant to the fact pattern, include a definition of quasi-community property. This is property acquired by either spouse that would have been community property if the spouse had been domiciled in California at the time that the property was acquired. Quasi-community property comes up when the husband and wife live in a state other than California, they buy some property there, and then they move to California where they either get divorced or one of them dies. If you see those facts, include this definition of quasi-community property in your answer. After you define these terms, it is perfectly acceptable to use abbreviations for the rest of your answer. So for example, you can write CP instead of community property in the remainder of your answer. Finally, if the facts indicate that the husband and the wife are seeking a divorce, you should state at divorce, community property is divided equally unless a rule or agreement between the spouses requires division otherwise. If you can memorize and use this exact language for all of these terms, it will help maximize your score. Having this introduction memorized will also help boost your confidence on exam day because you will know exactly how to start your community property essay, and so you can start writing right away. Next, let's talk about some of the issues that frequently appear on community property essays. The first highly tested issue is termination of the marital economic community. Instead of just calling the party's relationship a marriage, you should refer to it as the marital economic community, or MEC. The marital economic community ends at death, divorce, or when there is a physical permanent separation and intent not to resume the marriage. That last scenario is often tested. As an example, let's say the wife moves out of the house, but the parties are continuing to go to marriage counseling to try to fix their marriage. Even though they're separated, they are trying to reconcile their marriage, 
So there is no intent not to resume the marriage. So the marital economic community has not ended in that scenario. The next issue that is frequently tested is separate property and the concept of tracing. If assets can be traced to separate property, they are considered the fruit of separate property and fruits of separate property remain separate property. For example, let's say a wife inherits $50,000 from her grandma and she uses that money to buy a car. The money is the wife's separate property because it's an inheritance. Thus the car, which can be traced to the inheritance money, is also the wife's separate property. Upon dissolution of the marital economic community, each person gets to keep their separate property. So if the wife gets a divorce from her husband, she will get to keep the car. I previously mentioned that you should define quasi-community property when this issue comes up. This is another frequently tested issue on the California Property Essays. Quasi-community property is property that is acquired by a married couple that lived outside of California when the property was acquired, but that would be classified as community property if the couple had been living in California. So let's say a couple lives in Texas. They buy a house there. Then they subsequently decide to move to California, so they rent out their Texas house. They eventually decide to get divorced. The Texas house would be considered quasi-community property. Upon divorce, quasi-community property is treated the same as community property, so it will be divided equally unless there's a rule or agreement between the parties that requires division otherwise. The fourth highly tested issue to be aware of is transmutations. A transmutation is an agreement made during the marriage to alter the character of an asset. For example, the agreement might be to change something from separate property to community property or from community property to separate property. In order to be a valid transmutation, the transmutation must be in writing, but there is an exception to this writing requirement for some personal gifts. Almost every single time this issue has been tested, the writing requirement was not satisfied and the personal gift exception did not apply. So there was no valid transmutation. As an example, let's go back to that woman who inherited some money and bought a car. If she said to her husband, even though this car is my separate property, we can share it and it can be community property. This is not a valid transmutation because there is no writing. So when she and her husband get divorced, the car is still considered her separate property even though she orally agreed to share it with her husband. Finally, sometimes the issue of debts comes up on community property essays. Most of the time you'll be instructed to discuss how assets should be divided at the end of the marital economic community. But sometimes, as I said, you will have to discuss how debts should be divided instead. The rules vary depending on what type of debt it is and when the debt was acquired. So make sure you review the rules regarding division of debts, just like you're reviewing the rules regarding division of assets in community property. Finally, it is crucial that you practice community property essays prior to the exam. As I mentioned before, there is a certain way to start community property essays, and community property essays all have similar specific calls of the question. Practicing will help expose you to these things as well as to these highly tested issues. We recommend that you start by reviewing the community property essays from February 2021, February 2019, July 2018, and July 2016.